Hello, my name is George Wong. I am a student analyst for the Marquette University Applied Investment Management Program. And today I am pitching Callaway Golf Company. Its ticker is ELY. Its current price is $27.86. I am recommending it as a buy with a price target of $35.91. Callaway is a well-established and respected global golf equipment and apparel manufacturer. Through designing, marketing, and selling golf clubs, golf apparel, and golf gear, Callaway has become a household name. Additionally, Callaway acquired Topgolf, a sports entertainment company, in quarter one of fiscal year 21. On the left side of the slide, you can learn more about the company, and on the right side, you can learn more about the stock. And now for the investment recommendation. It is recommended that Callaway be added to the AIM small cap fund with a price target of $35.91, representing an upside of 28.9%. So why Callaway? As a leader in the golf equipment and apparel industry, Callaway will continue to grow as the game of golf is played more. Through consistent innovation and strategic investments, Callaway has gone from a small company primarily producing golf shafts to a global golf juggernaut changing the way people play golf. According to the National Golf Foundation, the growth of golf set new records in fiscal year 20 in terms of new players and rounds played. This growth has carried over to fiscal year 21 and the number of rounds played on a golf courses is expected to be up nearly 20% year over year. This continued industry growth will positively impact all aspects of the company and help Callaway grow its total revenue to $5 billion by fiscal year 25, representing a compounded annual growth rate of 13.6%. The first driver is tech-enabled golf entertainment. According to the firm's CEO, the Top Golf acquisition will be Callaway's biggest source of growth in the coming years. In fiscal year 21 alone, the company has already opened six venues and has a goal of opening three more by the end of the year which will bring their total venues to over 70. Each venue has the potential to bring in over $20 million in revenue, and Callaway is expecting Topgolf revenue to reach $2 billion by fiscal year 25, representing a compounded annual growth rate of 20%. Topgolf's aim for a more social and gamified experience with drinks and food will play a large role in Callaway growing its EPS at a compounded annual growth rate of 23.2% through fiscal year 25. The second driver is promising industry growth. As mentioned, golf is growing at an all-time rate. Given this, it will help all aspects of Callaway's business. Because it provides high quality and trusted equipment for all skill levels, it will enable the company to grow its golf equipment revenue at a compounded annual growth rate of 9% through fiscal year 25. Given how popular their brand Travis Matthew has become throughout the golf and corporate world, It'll help Callaway's apparel and gear segment grow revenues at a compounded annual growth rate of 11.5% through fiscal year 25. Also, in quarter two of fiscal year 21, Callaway's golf ball business exceeded 20% of the U.S. golf ball market share, which was the highest share Callaway's golf ball business has ever attained. The third driver is Be Like Bryson. PGA golfer Bryson DeChambeau, also known as The Scientist, has led the charge in changing the way people think about golf. This has caused Topgolf's top tracer technology to become extremely valuable for golfers who care about the minor details of their golf shot. Through licensing this operationally efficient technology to driving ranges across the world, Callaway will be able to grow its operating margin by nearly 140 basis points, representing an operating income compounded annual growth rate of 17.3%. Next, I will talk about the valuation for Callaway. As mentioned, it has a weighted price target of $35.91, representing a potential upside of 28.9%. To reach an intrinsic value for Callaway, a five-year DCF model was created. Using a terminal growth rate of 1.25 and a WAC of 7.44, an intrinsic value of $36.53 was reached. 
Additionally, a PE multiple valuation was calculated using an average premium multiple of 31.4, resulting in a relative value of $31.44. Finally, an EV to EBIT multiple valuation was calculated using an average premium multiple of 24.5, resulting in a relative value of 37.49. By weighting these models 70%, 15%, and 15% res respectively, a price target of $35.91 was reached. Next, I will talk about investment risks. First is intense competition and consumer trends. They compete in a highly competitive market and their revenue may be impacted if other competitors can adapt to customer changes more quickly and or sell comparable products for lower prices. Next is international operations. The company's main third party assemblers and manufacturers are primarily based outside the USA. Given supply chain disruptions have varied throughout the world, Callaway may see increased cost of goods sales. Then lastly is slow integration. Given Callaway's integration of Topgolf is expected to bring extreme growth to the company, failure to adequately integrate Topgolf venues, technology, and brand may significantly impact Callaway. Now I will talk about the management and leadership team. The company's core management team has been together for nearly a decade and played an integral role in acquiring Topgolf, Travis Matthew, and Jack Wolfskin. As mentioned, Chip Brewer is the president and CEO. Brian Lynch is the CFO. Becky Fine is the chief people officer. Artie Stars is the CEO of Topgolf. And Joe Flannery is the executive vice president of apparel and soft goods. The company's board of directors is comprised of many independent directors who have years of experience leading different companies across a variety of industries. 10 of the 12 directors are independent. To conclude, given that Callaway is ready to capitalize on the growing market of golf and is in the early stages of integrating its top golf acquisition, it is recommended that Callaway be added to the Marquette AIM small cap fund. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me by email. And thank you for watching my presentation.